so how are you all students i think i'm meeting you after a long time all these days i've been sending you tricks in chemistry i've been giving you different uh, expected questions in chemistry so now the time has come we are in the month of january from january 15th till february 15th all the schools will be having practical examinations isn't it so as i said countdown has started board examination timetable has come practical syllabus has come practical timetable has come don't worry students everything will be fine one important thing you have to remember is have confidence in yourself when you have confidence in yourself wonders will happen on this earth right so i thought as i've been helping you since so many i think almost one one and a half one year we have completed and still the journey is going on i thought i'll also help you out in practical uh, completing of doing the practical syllabus this time so i'll be explaining the practical syllabus that is with the salt analysis basically when i see grade 12 practical examination what what do we have for the examination let's see we very well know in our practical syllabus <clears throat> the first part is the volumetric analysis which you are going to do right as soon as you come to the lab 30 marks in 30 marks we have volumetric analysis which every student has to do it compulsory after that the next experiment which everybody has to do is salt analysis isn't it here you are supposed to find out or identify one cation and one anion so let us write that we will be identifying a cation so first you will be identifying the anion and then coming back to the cation after salt analysis is every student they will be they'll be getting one content based experiment content based experiment so when i have to speak about content based experiment different schools have been doing different different content based experiments it can be based on uh, you know uh, function group identification it can be identification of alcohol group amines you know al aldehydes ketones like that some will be doing in content based experiment chemical kinetics ex experiment some will be doing chromatographic experiment some will be doing uh, the preparation of lyophilic and lyophobic salts like that the Different, different schools will be following our detection of you know finding out the amount of albumin that also some schools will be doing so i'll try to do those also in my uh, lecture and after the content based experiment so as i said these three are compulsory in this content based experiment as i told you just now different different experiments will be varying after this next comes your viva right and next comes your record your project work also there is there which is included in your project work also is included in this 30 marks so this whole thing together will give you 30 marks and apart from this you will be writing the theory exam in the month of march that is for 70 marks theory done so don't worry students i'm again telling you i'll be dealing with each and everything i'll be doing the reactions also i'll be giving different with different viva questions what to answer when your examiner calls you has as before i start i am again telling you my dear students remember have stability when you have stability you know what happens you will not do mistakes when you don't do mistakes you start developing that confidence nothing gradually we'll do it but i'll try to make you understand so stay connected with me i'll be doing different different reactions i'll be explaining where which gases evolved keep noting it so take a separate book as i told you for world of chemistry one for the practical syllabus and one for the theory syllabus and keep revising as in when i tell you there is a uh, viva question asked please note it as viva question right done students so let us start off with the first type of experiment or the most important where most of the students get uh, confused is a salt analysis done so when i have to take this let me erase the whole thing salt analysis i have already written the heading here as salt analysis let's see so when i have to speak about salt analysis basically what are the different steps salt analysis has why most of the students get confused also i'll tell you right now you are first entering into the lab you as soon as you enter into the examination lab step one step number 1 as soon as you go your teacher asks you the examiner is being seated in the examination room or the lab the teacher asks you to submit your record work as well as your project work side by side and go according to the registration numbers after that each student is asked to stand at the respective workstations you go and stand at the workstation in the lab after that you will be asked or you will be given first volumetric some schools they give volumetric uh, analysis yeah, either it can be m by 10 m by 20 m by 40 or m by 50 and you need to find the molarity of the given kmn4 which is unknown to us and next step you will be given a salt right the lab assistant gives you a salt that is where your salt analysis starts off 
in that given salt your first aim as soon as you take the record or the examination paper you will write aim what is your aim your aim is to identify one cation and one anion from the given salt i'll be writing that okay aim to identify identify one cation and one anion from the given salt okay give from the given salt so every student will be given different different salts so from the given salt now after writing the aim in the paper which is given to you you take the a practical analysis sheet you fill the first page where you fill your name registration number everything will be filled in the first page after that once you turn the first try to pick up the salt analysis and do it off because salt analysis is very easy identify once you identify volumetric and content based will not take much time so this is the aim now when i have to do the salt analysis the different different steps in salt analysis which we'll see as i said always whenever salt analysis is there we have three different things what is that first would be the preliminary test which we everybody has to do here preliminary tests are those which will make you identify what is a anion present right easily you can find out the anion after that after finding the preliminary test i'll be going uh, step by step let's see so in the preliminary test first important thing you have to write test for anion so first we'll be uh, getting the anion and then going to the cation anion as we know is a negatively charged particle done now so in the preliminary test the first test very important easiest test which you have to do or perform is <laughs> physical appearance as soon as the salt is given to you you take the salt in the watch glass or in a paper and you physically see that what is that physical appearance either you will either watch it for or you going to see whether it is amorphous whether it is crystalline in nature so that is physical appearance that after that okay let me write whether it is amorphous salt or you will be seeing whether it is crystalline salt or not once you observe physically then you can see the color what color is it whether it is colorless salt white or whether it is colored salts basically in cbse cbse has told or the board has told not to give you colored salts colored salts is easy to identify so you will be getting all colorless salts only all will be white either amorphous salts or crystalline salts done so after finding the uh, basic physical appearance you can also go with the odor you can see if there is a ammonical smell right when you see it with your urine when you smell it some maybe ammonical smell it, it is easy if there is sulfur okay okay sulfur little bit rotten smell like that you will be getting but smell we will not rely but it is one of the physical appearance factor after doing the physical appearance let me write this as step 1 next is your step your yes this one starts with dry heating test you will be doing dry heating test i'll be explaining what what ions respond there also so dry heating test is the second one after doing the dry heating test next would be your flame test you will be doing flame test for the salt which is given i'll explain you the procedure what to do in the flame test also after doing the flame test then you go to a step called identification of anions so this is where okay dry heating test is over flame test is over now identification anions here is the main thing which you have to see so when i go with identification of anions and that to identification of acidic radicals we have to say so identification of acidic radicals is a category so identification of acidic radicals there are again three categories of acidic radicals so acidic radicals will be let me write acidic radicals here are group 1 acidic radicals i'll explain each one of them acidic radicals are of group 2 acidic radicals third category acidic radicals are of group 3 acidic radicals okay all the three categories where you have different different types of uh, anions your carbonate like that here you have acetate here you have uh, fluoride chloride here you have sulfate phosphate like that so after performing all these so whichever anion responds immediately what do i do i have to jump into the next category that is a confirmatory test for that yes so every salt confirmatory test is important so every every salt you need to identify one anion and one cation so once again first is physical appearance after that dry heating test after that flame test after that acid 
identification of acidic radicals but in between there are certain tests which we also perform for different types of anions what are these tests i'll be including them after flame test some of the schools or some of them they try to do let me erase this i can we can also write after flame test i'm erasing let us write this flame test at the uh, sorry let us write this identification at the last part what will i do i'll put four here i'll put five here i'll put <coughs> six here then i'll put seven here that is identification of acidic radicals i'll put it at the last identification and confirmation of acidic radicals is a confirmation of acidic radicals how many groups are there i said acidic radicals are of three categories acidic radicals group one acidic radicals group two acidic radicals group three ma'am what are these in between yes you have one more test called borax bead test very interesting test borax bead test i'll be explaining what it is after that you some schools also do charcoal cavity test charcoal cavity test this also i'll be discussing after charcoal cavity test the next test which we do is cobalt nitrate test cobalt nitrate test that that is what is the all these starting one two three four five all these are preliminary tests after preliminary test we'll go to that acidic radicals and identification so let's start with the first one let's see what are in the preliminary test what what ions respond what are the different colors keep noting along with me okay. 